I know I said these are gonna be summer trends that you'll love, and they probably will be, but there's one that I'm not 100% sure you're gonna love it because I am still questioning it a little bit, but I added to this list. I'll save it for last. I'll tell you why I even added it in the first place and see if you agree with me. When I say micro trends, I might be misusing the word, but I feel like these trends are not huge, uh, big runway trends necessarily, but they're ones that have kind of shown up in social media and in the realistic everyday life that are kind of a trend right now that I really think are wearable, will stay around for a while. I wanted to share them with you you and let's get started. The first one I think might be my favorite, maybe. Is it my favorite? And that is high neck tank tops. I am really loving this look. They're very easy to wear, obviously. Some of them are very high with a very kind of deep cut over your arms. I can't really wear those because I do have a lot of like squishy areas up here that I don't really want to show off. So for myself, I would want one of the tank tops that, you know, kind of covers that part, but is still the high neck um, tank top that shows off your shoulders. You're not able to wear a regular traditional bra strap with these. You have to kind of crisscross it or wear a racer back or something like that. But these are so flattering. I feel like even if you don't like your arms, which I know a lot of us, you know, don't and have problems with, they are still very flattering because they emphasize your shoulders, not necessarily that weird part of your arm that we're all a little self-conscious about. So I really love this look. You do have to find one that is, I feel like, not cut so far in if you are self-conscious about those areas. I am pretty sure we're gonna see this go into the fall. I will of course link some of my favorites below and also some of the ones that go in a little bit if you're able to pull that off. There have been lots of colors talked about for summer and spring that have been on trend, but one of them that I really didn't see coming as one that I would really personally like is pale yellow. And I have seen pale yellow in clothing and it, I like it and it looks great, but the reason why I'm putting it in this video is because it has been a trend in swimming Swimwear, and I love it in swimwear. I think it's so pretty. One caveat here, it does look better on people that have a tan or a darker color skin tone. So it might be one we all save until like maybe the middle of summer and we have a little bit of a glow going on or our self tanner, something like that. But I love this color. It just looks so gorgeous and there's so much swimwear in it right now. Let me know what you think. Do you like this color? Are you a little bit scared of it? Or do you think you'll try it out? Oh, I really love this one. Okay, so maybe you've noticed, or maybe you haven't, noticed that netted bags for the summer have been really, really big. They are in the high-end places, they're in the low-end places, they're all over the place, and I feel like they are so cute. I feel like they're perfect beach bag, they're just a cute tote, there's so many just cute variations of them. I feel like it's such a great summer bag, and so I feel like for a while we were really into all the straw and the circle bags, and of course everyone likes straw bags for the beach, but I just really love this. I just feel like it adds something brand new to your summer outfit. I really don't think you have to limit yourself to just bringing these to the beach. I feel like they're really fun for like a day bag to wear with your dress or your day outfit and then bring it to the beach. I just, I just love these. Let me know what you think though. Okay, I think everyone on YouTube has talked about oversized button-up shirts to death <laughs> and they have been a big trend. They're continuing to be a big trend. But what we're seeing in the summertime are these bright colored oversized button-up shirts. So if you like that look, if you are into the oversized button-up shirt, there are so many bright colors out there. I just think they're so pretty. I love all the like pastel ones that have matching shorts. I think those are so cute. I just really love this. I know that they can get hot in the summertime so for here in Florida where it's humid, I'm not going to be wearing something that's going to like trap all my heat, but I do think you can get one with short sleeves that's still oversized that can really work. You can tie it up. I just love this look and I just love the bright colors for summer. This next one is also, I guess, a little bit questionable. It's not the one I was talking about, but I dismissed it completely in the beginning. And that is those, uh bright colored rings that usually have like a flower inside or something really retro looking on it. Maybe I'm not really into the retro ones so much as the ones that are more um, just colorful rings. I need to find out the word from this. I did not sleep much last night. So I dismissed it at first because I was like, oh, this is a trend for 12 year olds. That's great. I'm not 12, so why would I care? However, I have recently decided that I do like these rings for a specific look, and that would be you're at the beach. You're going to the beach. Maybe it's a beach vacation, something like that. I don't really think this would be like the thing you'd want to wear like to work with your suit or anything like that. I just feel like it would be a really fun, casual beach outfit accessory. 
That being said, it is kind of a young trend, so you really would have to cage this for yourself if this is gonna work for you or not. I think it's really fun for the beach. Y'all let me know what you think about it. Okay, so this one's the one that's kind of questionable, and that is the halter neck dresses and tops. They have come back. I don't even know if they're micro. They're just back. When I first saw these dresses and tops and it's the halter that has like the twist up front, it just threw me back to 2000. So I know there's a lot of Y2K trends that are popping up and everything, but I was like, uh, I don't know. Then it started to grow on me. And so now I actually kind of like it. But here's how I feel about these dresses. If you have a larger cup size, like I do, I have a larger cup size and they are real. They're not where they once were. You know, I'd have to wear a strapless bra. I don't know if they would work for my body. They almost work better on people that have a smaller cup size that don't need all the support because I feel like, you know, with these dresses and tops, you're not getting a lot of support. So it just, it can kind of look better not good, but I do like them. I don't know if I would like them on myself, um, but I think if you had a smaller cup size, that would be really, really cute. There's a lot of them out there. I'm going to link some below. Let me know what you think, if it reminds you of, you know, the year 2001 or something, and if you like that or you don't. Either way is fine. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed these little trends that I found. I love looking at things like this. I might do another video like this soon. If you want to subscribe and you haven't already, it's down below. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you didn't, and I will see you next time.